Hey, what's going on guys? Talk Nerdy here, back for another video uh, tonight reviewing the glamorous fixture between Sunderland and Norwich City at the Stadium of Light on a Tuesday evening. This is about a 12 hour round trip. The fact that it's on a Tuesday evening does boggle the mind slightly, but you know, we've had trips to Newcastle on Tuesday nights, we've had trips to Middlesbrough on Tuesday nights before, so the EFL don't really surprise me too much. It was 1-1 in the end, it was so nearly a defeat, it would have been two defeats to rock bottom Sunderland in, in a season if we had have lost. Um, and first of all, I think Farco got it wrong tonight, I really do, I think, I think the team selection was wrong. For me, the biggest disappointment was not seeing Dennis Sabreni in that starting lineup. He'd scored at the weekend. It was clearly so good for his confidence. He's been rolled out to do the media press conferences and then hasn't started. And I don't buy into this argument that Nelson maybe hasn't scored as many goals as he should have done this season because he hasn't been given a chance or um, the system doesn't quite fit his role. Well, I agree the system doesn't quite fit his role, but I don't think the system would fit any striker particularly well. It's a it's a very isolated system to play in. Um, and Nelson's been given countless chances against countless average teams and hasn't scored the goals. Dennis Sabreni, I'm not saying is any better than Nelson, but he does provide a bit of a focal point. He provides a different option and I think he does suit the system slightly better as well as that to, dr to drop Jamal Lewis and bring in James Husband. You all know that I'm not James Husband husband's biggest fan I don't think he's the worst player in the world but he's certainly not as good as Jamal Lewis which seemed very odd and then to go from the back four and switch it up to a back five it didn't really seem like Farker had a definitive game plan tonight um, and unfortunately that let us down I mean it could have quite easily been worse it could have quite easily been better Sunderland missed the penalty they had countless chances to score and their um, slight naivety in front of goal probably shows why they are where they are in the league for a reason, and also their naivety in the you know defensive um, phases of play when you know you've got one minute of the game left. Admittedly, their chances of survival this season are slim, but just see the game out. Instead, they concede a fairly sloppy goal. Evo Pinto was the goal scorer in the 89th minute. Um, look, I think I think for me the big thing is going into next season. Now this season's finished. It was it was finished about a month ago. Defensively, I'm fairly happy. I think we've got some very good defensive players and Pinto admittedly isn't the best defender but can do a job at championship level. I think we, we've, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we are gifted with good centre-backs now. I, I think Grant Hanley's one of the finest cent, uh, championship centre-backs. I think Tim Closer on his day is very good and good when he forms a partnership. Christoph Zimmerman is fantastic. You've got Sean Raggett who can go in there and then Jamal Lewis is developing into a really good left-back. I think, look, it's all going to be about who we can keep hold of next season, but the midfield is shaping up quite nicely. Vrancic is developing into a really nice play. You've got Harrison Reed, who is simply magnificent at times. You've got a Tom Tribal, who you know is a midfield maestro, and you've got Moritz Leitner, who looks a class above. Then you go forwards, once again, it's all about who we can keep. You've got Arnold Hernandez, who is, who is injured at the moment. You've got James Madison, who admittedly is unlikely we're going to keep hold of. You've got a Wes Houlihan, who could maybe keep maturing like that fine wine he is. And then you've got a Murphy. It's just that striker. We had so many chances tonight. You, you bank, you put your mortgage, you put your house on... Um, James Madison scoring from two yards. He hits the post. It, a bit of an, 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 an anomaly from him tonight for, to miss that chance. But we just need a striker that scores goals. And past seasons, we've scored the goals and haven't been able to keep them out. We've kept them out this season. It just frustrates me that we are still without a striker. Um, and I don't. I think Dennis Sabredi can be a really good impact player off the bench. I don't think he's a first choice striker. I think Nelson Oliveira's um, Nor Norwich City career is over and has probably been over since uh, since probably January, I would have thought. Um, so if we find that striker and keep hold of some of our better players, I do feel confident. I think Farker got it wrong tonight. I saw a stat, I think, from Steve Gedge that said, yes, this is very hypothetical and, you know, it's... Um, what could have been almost, but if we'd have beaten the bottom four teams this season, we would be in fifth place. We have dropped a ridiculous amount of points against teams that we should be beating. Bolton, Burton, Sunderland, Birmingham. It's unforgivable. Beat them teams and you're in the top six. Look at Millwall. They're in the top six and they looked terrible when they came to Carroge. You put a run together, you start scoring some goals, 
bit of team cohesion and things can happen. You look at Fulham, they're in the top two. They started the season incredibly poorly. They were wanting to, slack, uh, to sack Slavici Jukanovic earlier on in the season. It is possible, but we do need to find a system that works. I don't think Farker quite knows at the moment. Is it him experimenting? Possibly. If so, it's the right time to do that. And we also need a striker that scores some goals. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below tonight's um, result. A 1-1 draw with bottom place Sunderland. It looks like they're playing their football in League One next season, which is kind of a shame, Sunderland. I, I do like Sunderland, the proper football club, proper fans, and uh, it's unbelievable to see a club that size will probably be in League One next season, but that's what happens when you don't manage your football club properly. Hopefully a lesson um, to be learned there. Thanks very much for watching. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>